What's up guys? Welcome back to New Styles. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get the Dark Blade for free in Bloxverse, guys. In today's video, I'm basically going to show you guys how you guys can get the Dark Blade Game Pass for absolutely free. So let me just show you guys the Dark Blade Game Pass. So as you guys can see, this is Dark Blade Game Pass. And as you guys can see, I do not have the Dark Blade. So let me just show you guys. As you guys can see, I do not have the Dark Blade. So in today's video, I'm basically going to be doing the glitch with you guys and showing you guys how to do the glitch so you guys can too get yourself the Dark Blade for absolutely free. So uh, yeah guys, let's get on to this video. So the very first thing that you have to do is basically come to the first C if you guys are in a different seat. Now when you are in the first C, you guys can do just come to the Pirate Starter area and basically set your home point right over here. So just like this. As you guys can see, so we are doing this because it's convenient for us to basically get over to like the power starter area. So this is kind of like the main base of the like the glitch guys. Okay, so uh, yeah. Now after you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to like the middle town first off. So basically just fly, take a boat or just uh, just go to the middle town guys. Okay, so uh, yeah. Like this. Now, when you're in Middletown, go ahead and go over to the weapon stealer. Click on this guy. So, if you guys are uh, like tight on money, uh, it doesn't have to be uh, like uh, expensive weapon, guys. You guys can even get the slingshot and uh, do it with that, okay? So, yeah, just click on purchase like that. So, uh, yeah, even if you have the slingshot, you have to like the click on purchase on it, guys, okay? So, uh, yeah. Now, after you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the Pirate Starter area. So, basically, choose one of the three weapons over there and basically kill an NPC, guys. Alright, any NPC will do. I'm just going to the Pirate Starter area because it's easier because there's like a low level enemies over here. So, uh, yeah. And you guys can only use the slingshot too. You guys cannot use anything else to lower their health or anything like that. Just use the slingshot. As you guys can see, now after you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the sword steel over here and basically get yourself a katana. Like this, click on purchase. You have to click on purchase even if you have the katana, guys, okay? Now all you guys can do is just basically take your katana and defeat one NPC. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to save our glitch. So it's, it's kind of hard to explain, uh, like... Uh, this basically saves our progress. Killing an NPC basically saves our progress in blocks for it. So what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to save the progress of the glitch that we are going to do. So uh, yeah, basically it's kind of hard to explain guys. So uh, yeah, now after you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to blocks with dealer like this. Click on this guy, click on the new, click on view on like the, uh, like the last fruit, click on the Robux icon. Click on cancel, cancel, exit just like that. Now after you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the shop. Click on the dark black, click on buy right here. Wait a little bit until this thing comes and all you guys can do is just click on cancel right here. Now after you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to like the middle town again. Just fly over to middle town. And as you guys can see, we're in middle town. Now you guys can do just basically go ahead and go over to the block food dealer in the back of the mansion. Just like this. Click on this guy. Click on continue. And basically do the same thing that we did earlier. So yeah, basically click on the last foot. Click on the Robux icon. Cancel, cancel, exit. Just like that. Now after you've done that, all you guys can do just go ahead and go straight to jungle area. So uh, now we're trying to kill a boss, guys. Okay, so uh, yeah. Okay. And we are here. Now I guess guys, you just basically go ahead and go over to like the blocks we gotcha first off. Click on this guy. Click on alright. Oh you guys guys do just click on alright and that should be enough guys, okay? Now I guess guys, do just go ahead and kill the boss. Alright. Okay. Just like that. Now after you do that, oh you guys guys, do just go ahead and go over to the blocks with gacha. And now you gotta have enough money to buy yourself a fruit, guys. Like this, just get yourself a fruit. So the uh, fruit that you got doesn't really matter. All you guys can do is just basically buy yourself a fruit, guys. Okay, so uh, yeah. 
All right, I got the spring food. I'm just going to drop it over here. Someone will take it. So, uh, yeah. Now, after I've done that, what I guess I do is just go ahead and go over into the adventurer and basically take out the girl like a quest. Like this. Click on confirm. Now, I guess I do just basically abandon it. Like that. After I've done that, what I guess I do is just go ahead and go over to the middle town again. So, just fly over to middle town. Fly or take a boat, it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and go to middle town. Now, when you're back in middle town, what you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to any chest in middle town and basically take it, guys. Okay, so yeah. So I'm just gonna do two uh, just in case. So yeah, as you guys can see. So you guys can take all the chests if you guys want to. I'm just gonna do two uh, uh, to make sure that uh, the glitch actually worked. Now, after you've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the prior starter area. So, it's basically back of, uh, like, the uh, middle town, uh, you will see the prior starter area. So, this place right here. So, yeah. If some people never go to, the, like, the marine starter area, this is what the marine starter area is. I, did I say prior starter area? Yeah, I, didn't, I don't really remember. But, uh, basically, all you guys can do is just uh, look back uh, into, like, the middle town, and you should see the marine starter area. This is where you should go. Now, after you've done that, all you guys can do is just click on the blocks with dealer. Click on continue. Go down until you see the last fruit. And, basically, the same thing that we did to the other blocks with dealers. So, uh, yeah, now after you're done, then all you guys can do is just basically take your katana and your, like, uh, uh, slingshot and basically kill two NPCs with, uh, like, the uh, kill one with the slingshot and one with the katana, guys. Okay, so yeah. Alright. And we are done. Now, uh, the katana. As you guys can see, we are done with that too. Now, after you do that, what you guys can do just basically go ahead and go to Pirate Start area. Now, when you're in Pirate Start area, what you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the Bandit Quest Giver. Click on this guy and basically complete the quest, guys, okay? Just like this, just get yourself a quest and basically complete it. So, I'm just gonna complete it super fast, just like this. Just like that, and as you guys can see, I have completed it. Now, after you do that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the Sky Islands, guys. So, basically, just get to the Sky Islands. So, that place right there. You basically gotta go to that place first off. So, if you guys don't have, like, a, a flying fruit or, a, a, like, the jumping thing, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to that area first off. Because it's harder to go over to that area uh, just by, like, flying or, like, the uh, sky jump. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and go over to that area right there. I'm basically explaining how you guys can get to the Sky Islands, guys. Okay, so yeah. Okay. As you guys can see, we are at the Sky Islands. So basically, all you guys can do is just uh, uh, come with the boat over to here. If you guys don't have like a flying fruit, all you guys can do is just go up these stairs. Up, 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 and you should get over to here. As you guys can see, this place right here. Now, when you get out here, all you guys can do is just uh, basically use the sky jump or the flying fruit to get over to here. So, uh, yeah. Now, when you're here, all you guys can do is basically go into this temple-looking thing and basically destroy this part right here. Or you guys can go down over there. So, I'm just going to uh, use that part to show you guys how it's done. So, uh, yeah. You guys can basically destroy this uh, with, uh, like, uh, uh, like, an attack too, guys, okay? So, basically, just uh, dash around like that and you should get over to the next, uh, like, Sky Island. So, basically, the final Sky Islands, as you guys can see. There's no other island up in the sky. This is the island up in the sky. And as you guys can see, now you guys get to just basically kill like the uh, Thunder God. 
So if you guys can't kill the Thunder God, what you guys can do just basically do 10% damage and that should do the trick too. 10% damage still works guys, okay? So yeah. So as you guys can see, the Thunder God isn't here. I'll see you guys when he respawns. So as you guys can see, uh, while I waited, I did a little shopping. And as you guys can see, this is what I created. I'm not me, but yeah, this is what I created. So as you guys can see, so if you guys want the same outfit as me, I will put a link in the description of the video that uh, I uh, like uh, got uh, this outfit from. So uh, yeah, so basically, what you guys can do is just defeat this guy. So yeah. All right, I'm just gonna. So basically, as I said before, you guys can basically do like 10 percent damage, or you guys can basically kill this guy. All right. Physical attacks doesn't work with him, huh? Alright, so as you guys can see, I killed him. So, uh, yeah. Now, after I've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go back to, like, the Pirate Start area. So, uh, yeah. Just go ahead and go to the Pirate Start area. So, as you guys can see, I'm in the Pirate Start area. Now, all you guys can do is just basically wait until the Blocks with Dealer shop refreshes. And when it refreshes, you should basically get yourself the Dark Blade for absolutely free. So yeah guys, that is basically it from me. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.